days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. So it's like they should be cast out, even as though they were never a part of the family. So we gain sonship. We are indeed the sons of God. But can well, we you can say dead? that you can you cannot be a son. So when can your son and daughter not be your son and daughter? Well, he said, what, son they, and daughter. what can they do for them not to be your son or daughter? They, they'll be my sons and daughters, but they will be cast out. If you understand what I'm trying to say. There are things that my kids can do up to rejecting, you know, whatever it is that benefit of being a part of my family or being a part of me. They can willfully walk away from it. And there's nothing that I can do about that. I've but already done will all they that still I can be do. your son and your daughter? They will be, but they'll be as though they, they weren't. They still transgress. Hey, read that scripture yeah. right there. That's John. His first John. This is after the redemption. This is after the resurrection of Jesus. Read that for us, uh, uh, Brother Addison. First John started at verse 5, all the way to verse 19. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him we and, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. I, I don't, I don't, Keep reading. Keep reading, sir. Keep reading. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from, the, from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not with is not in us. So, basically, in accordance with this, if if I sin, yes, which basically, let's just say I committed adultery. Yes, yes you said. So the word is in me. Huh? No. Is the word not in me? If if, <laughs> if I cuss somebody out, is the word not in me? It means that you, you have to get it. Yeah, I, I think you transgress the will of God with the word in you. We all got growing to do. Yeah. We, we're growing. We're growing. Okay, so then. Glory to glory. But you're growing under grace. You're growing under grace. We Everybody who's listening to this video or this tape will understand you are growing under grace. You have not arrived. I have not arrived. I have not, not yet saying arrived. that. I have not yet apprehended, but this one thing I do, for getting those press. things which are behind, and I'm pressing forward to those things are before. If my adultery is before me, I got to go ahead and deal with that. I got to press through that. Because you're going to deal with sin. You're going to fall. The righteous fall, but he gets back up. God is, has no problem you get back up. God has given you grace. It's okay. Because you do walk in darkness sometimes. But you come to the light so you can be, remember that, that first John, John 3, 16? Remember he said is that, here it is right here. Look at this, I like this. This is a beautiful uh, scripture. In John 3, 16, but the rest of it I like, we read it before. I'll read from the beginning, 16 to 21. It says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son that whoso believes in him, and that's my belief, that's what I believe is to say, shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that's the blessing, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay. He that believes on him is not condemned. <laughs> that's critical. But he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness 
rather than life. Because what? Their deeds are evil. For everyone that does is evil, hates the light. Neither comes to the light. Lest his deeds should be reproved, corrected, rebuked, right? You and I have chose to come to the light. But he that does his truth comes to the light. Look, that his deeds may be manifest. That they might, that they are what? Roth. Remember we talk about that Roth means? That that's shaping. That that's proved. That's that's that correction we're talking about. That we get molded into the image of God and the image of Christ because we come to the light. That's the blessing between you and somebody that don't believe. You come to God with your deeds exposed. And as our deeds are exposed, he works with us. That's what that Roth means. He works with us. But if we, we can, we're not gonna come into denial of our deeds. We're coming to the fact that, Lord, I'm coming to you because that's what my grace, that's what my mercy, that's where everything I need is in you. I got an advocate in heaven sitting beside God called Jesus Christ. And he's making intercession for me daily. Why? Because I need it. I don't know. You, you can go that way. And I, I have no problem with deposition. I'm saying is, I need that intercession from him. And I'm not I, saying I don't. I need All I'm need. saying is, to me, in my mind, that takes away from all that Jesus suffered and did for the redemption. It, it should not. The redemptive work. How 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 shouldn't it? Well, You're well, saying that he's lacking and what he's done is is not enough. Well, I think I think when you think about the fact that shit, those he loves he chasing. Yeah. It, our it our, our, our transgression is at this point does not break out our sonship. Right. But it does bring it to a place where we're gonna be chased, we're gonna be corrected. One way or the other, even as sons of God, and, 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 and as we err in our growth towards sanctification and righteousness, uh, we didn't have that fellowship before. You know, prior to that, we we're not part of his family. So when Jesus, you know, commits, I mean, suffers the, the crucifixion, his passion, and restores our sonship to our Father, we are now one with God. Yeah. Spiritually, okay. we are one with God. There is no time where that oneness is going to be broken, I think we're not going to not be sons of God anymore. But right. we're going to either be sons that are either doing the will of God or transgressing the will of God. If we don't repent of our transgressions, then we put ourselves as though we were not sons anymore. Um, that's a willful act. That's not an act of ignorance or an act of, of just con I mean, I agree. A condition. We were born sinners. That was not fault. We were I born as Adam. Now we purposefully say, I want to be a part of your family now, and we come to his family. We're not going to be, he's not going to cast us out as though we weren't sons. We're going to be judged as sons. And I think that's where that scripture comes in, where it says that they shall be cast out in the out of darkness with the, the, the fearful and unbelieving and, and the sinners and poor mongers and all of that. We have the knowledge of God, we have sonship now, but we can't transgress, and we oftentimes go to acknowledge what we've done, and he says we confess those things that he is faithful and just to forgive us. Yeah. So he's, he's purposefully and continuously oh, taking us through yeah. this process of perfecting us in, in Christ. Right. He's really, you know, he's perfecting us, bringing us to the full image yeah. of our. Okay, of our and, and, and I understand that. All I'm saying is, I'm, I'm not saying that I don't tell my father. I'm sorry that I've committed a sin against you. I'm, I'm not saying that. that. That is a part of this new spirit and this connection that is within me. Right. That I feel that way. I don't practice sin. Right. Because if I practice sin, that emotion would not be within me. Right. So all I'm saying is if God forgave me. Yes then why am I acting like he did it? We but what I that. do say is, Father, I'm sorry that I've sinned, but I thank you that you have forgiven me and that I'm made aware of it and I repent thereof. 
and that's just that's Christ, that's, and that's but a, not that's, through me. Yeah, because I cannot do it in and of myself. Now I will never, never what? take anything away from what my my Lord and Savior done. There's no way in the world I can do that. What man? That just vexes my spirit to think that I can say that what he's done wasn't enough to remove the penalty of sin in my life. I don't think he that has me. done that, and but you're saying that, that he hasn't. Let me make sure I understand, because you got break. You said two things. I'm trying to make sure that you are saying that if I sin, I'm gonna come to you, going to the Father to deal with that sin, right? Or not? That what you I'm said. not asking God to forgive me of something He's forgiven me of. So, but, so if you if you sin, let make this balance. Let's balance it out. So if you sin in an hour from now, I just shot somebody and killed them. Then it meant to happen. If they mess with me, they need to die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, 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 you, if you did it out of uh, jealousy or whatever, uh, was that a sin that was committed? Was it a sin? Yeah. When you murder some, if you go and murder somebody in an hour from now, was that a sin committed? Yes. Okay. And and what do you said? You said you said a few minutes ago. You said you said, Father, I'm sorry for what I did, right? Yes. All right. And that's all that scripture was saying. If you confess no, it wasn't. Your sin, what? That's what that scripture said. If you confess your sin, that's all it's saying. I mean, the scripture okay. the brother that we read said, if you confess your sin, He is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse from all unrighteousness. We're talking about if you do something. You go to God for what you did. Well, I'm, there, there, okay, I agree. But the difference was saying, Father, forgive me for my sin. No, I'm just talking that, about that's, that. That's, that's what I can't, I, I can't. To me, that's no different than when Jesus went to them people and said, when they asked, how come we could not move? Uh, yeah, that unbelief thing. Yeah, back to that, right. That power, right? What about it? That was a sin. You yeah. thought that was sin? Unbelief? And, and and pardon? You don't think unbelief is a sin, do you? Say that again. Unbelief. Yes. You think it's a sin? I do believe that. I don't think it's a sin. I think unbelief separates you from the power and authority that God has given you right. to operate on His behalf. Right. That's what unbelief does. Right. No, I'm mm -hmm. not saying that it's a it's a sin. Yeah, you know. There's a scripture that says they should be cast out in the outer darkness with the fearful and unbelieving. That's it. Right. 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 But, but, that's, about the same, yeah. but there's also a scripture that says that uh, you're not supposed to vex the Holy Spirit. You know, or or you know, if you turn away or something. I can't remember how it says, right. but it's something to uh, blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I can't remember how it goes, but I've never heard anyone explain how you do that. That is a good point that um, Elder said, and I think you just said, remember that one we did in Hebrews because of the unbelief they couldn't enter into his rest? Yeah. Remember that one? Because of unbelief they couldn't enter into his rest. That's what the children of Israel failed to for unbelief. Well, unbelief I is, is I don't know the sin. I, don't I mean well, unbelief in in God's God's word and and what he's done I, I think that that is that is that is that's bad. That, it's bad, that is, but I don't know if it's I, I think you know I, the, the scripture we just had when he cast out that, that lunatic from uh kick the kid, the not a similar chapter, bro, I think it's in Luke. Way did it, and the father said, "Father, he said, Jesus, I believe, but help me in my unbelief." Security, yeah. yeah. But it's still, I, I, I still have to. Have to so let me let me ask this: Was it unbelief when Adam and Eve disobeyed God? And ate from that tree. No. 
What was that? Disobedience. One was deceived and the other one was outright disobedient. Okay. He was told not to do something and he did it. That was disobeying. So was that sin? <laughs> that was sin. That was sin. That was sin. That was sin. Yeah. Okay. So disobeying God's word was sin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So disobeying God's word is sin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Transgression of the law is sin. But it doesn't mean that there's a lot. The scripture said it's, okay. it's not sin unto death. So <laughs> you sin, but it's not. So good. what's sin not sin? Death. Death. <laughs> well, what's sin unto death to him? <laughs> And everybody else too. It's still sin unto death for anyone who has not received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Right. It's still sin unto death. Right? Well, Am I you're right? Already, no, you're already dead. If you're not born again, you're dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so without Christ, you're dead. You're dead. Legit. Yeah. That's real. You're, just, you're, you're basically the walking dead. Yes. You're, you're yes. fucking dead. You're spiritually dead. But Jesus said, Mom and I, you must be born again. Okay. You must be born again. But the blessing is, once you're born yeah. again, then you grow in Christ, and you do have mistakes, and you do fall, but He's that grace is there to take care of all that. That's the whole point. I'm saying you're walking in grace. You're in the dispensation of grace as a believer. That's I understand a that, but we also been sealed by the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Yes. That has sealed us yes, that's until right. the purchase possession right. so that we're taken out of the equation. Yes. As far as... as, oh, as I, I tell you, to be taken out of the equation as far as gaining salvation is concerned, we never were in it. Uh, as far as receiving salvation, mm, that's another thing because uh, we receive salvation by faith, and that's something that we had to believe. I mean, yeah, we, we, we had, had to believe that the redemptive work, we had we the had redemptive to work God. of Christ, yes, that yeah, the yeah. redemptive work that he accomplished actually satisfies the sin debt. We right. received that by faith. It is so, so it's so. Do I have to maintain my stance in that? We, I wouldn't be a free will agent if he locked me in. God does not lock me into salvation. No, I you always locked you in. Yeah, I locked me in. And I said, yeah. okay, I ain't gonna give it up. I don't care right. about and, and and what's just been put on my on my mind is it's the same the same process that took us out of the will of God in the garden when we were all in Adam. It's the same process that brings us in. So they believe Satan and were taken out. They, made a they were separated. Their spirits died. So we believe Christ and we're accepted in. Exactly. Yeah. So it's all about belief. Yes. But I don't know, like you said, it's not so much a sin. I read I put it here's a church for you. Uh if you don't want to read, you can read that from Revelation chapter three, verse one through uh six. This is a church. Okay. These are believers, right? And unto the angel of the church in Sardis writing. These things said he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy work, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. They are ready to die. For I have not found thy work perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, uh -huh. I will come on thee as a thief, uh -huh. and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Uh -huh. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, uh -huh. and they shall walk with me in uh -huh. white, uh -huh. for they are worthy. Yes, sir. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Yes, sir. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. Okay. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angel. Yes, sir. He that has an ear to hear, 
ear to ear. Uh, ear to ear. He that has an ear. He, he that has an ear, let him hear <laughs> what the Spirit saith unto the church. The church is, right? So, oh, he's talking to you too, right? You're saying that these are believers? Yes, they said the church. That's the I church. I believe so. They are believers. The so they're, they're the body of Christ. And look, and look, and look, Brother Allison, what I like, what I like, I thought it was interesting. I just said, you, you said you alive, but you dead. <laughs> I mean, this is. Hold on, you, you're breaking up. Oh. You broke up. I didn't hear that. You hear me now? You hear me now? You hear yeah. Me now? yeah. Okay. Hey, I thought it was interesting to say you alive. You say you alive, but you're dead. That's in verse one. Okay. <laughs> now that hast a name that thou livest and art dead. <laughs> in verse two, he said, "Watch for, be watchful. But is he talking to? Are he talk? Is he talking to those in Christ, or is he talking to the the? He talking to the church. That's yeah. you in Christ, right? Yeah. He identifies it as a church. To the church that started, to the church that Philippi, to the church of Philadelphia. We're talking about the spirit filled believer. Yeah. I thought it was interesting, Bishop, to say it is you, you got a name that you're alive. <laughs> you can you can dance, you can shout, and you got the tambourine. You full of Holy Spirit. You got a name that you're doing that. But you did. You did. And he said, be watchful. Because some stuff part of you is still alive and it could die. And I, and Bishop Victor, I gotta say that I will not blot your name. That mean Elder Johnson, that name, that mean they were in the book. Yeah. They, yeah. they were sealed in the book. Yeah. And blot me. I thought Israel was in the book until a certain time. You saw Israel was in the book. Yeah. I know Israel supposed to be grafted in. I know that I know that and, they and, and they are a part of the church until they deny. What I don't know, the church is different from the spirit of Israel, isn't it? The church is not the church is the body of Christ. I don't think children of Israel covenant they're just covenant. Yeah, there was coming agreement through Abraham. Right. But it said the true seed of Abraham was those who have received the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So even even Abraham had to be saved. Saved Israel. And the biological offspring of Abraham had right. to accept yeah. Christ in order to be saved. And I think that's why God. I think that's what some of those scriptures put in there because I like the part about the fact is that forgiving somebody as, as often as they come to you is just to show that we make mistakes. I, I thought this was talking about Israel. That? This was talking about uh, the children of Abraham. I, I really did. Because well, when it speaks in terms of church, the church was established after the, after Pentecost. The church didn't exist prior to the, the, the uh, body, of, I mean, the believer being filled with the body, of, I mean, with the Spirit of God. Right, because Christ is the head of the church. Yeah. So the church is actually those believers who are filled, filled and didn't, didn't come until after Christ. The church wasn't born until Pentecost. Right. So, unto the angel of the church in Sardis, right? Who is the angel of the church in Sardis? That's the pastor of the church. That's the leader okay. of the church. Okay. So he says, basically, these things saith he that has the seven spirits, which is Christ. Yes. And the seven stars. Right. He says, I know thy work. Yeah. That thou hast a name that thou livest, that yeah. are dead. <laughs> he said, "Y'all, y'all dying. Y'all, y'all not connected to me. Y'all not connected to me." And you know, it's funny when you look at that, um, uh, 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 brother Asa, because if you look at the church of uh, Laodicea, check that church out. That's an interesting church for you. <laughs> 
Now to the angel of the church of the Lodicians write, these things said the, the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy, out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with good, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Woo! I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Uh -huh. and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, uh -huh. that thou mayest see. Yes, as many as I love, I rebuke and chase yes, them. Hello. Hello. Be zealous, therefore, <laughs> and repent. Yes, sir. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Okay. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Yes. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, mm -hmm. even as I also overcome, overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Uh -huh. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. You know, and so, I thought that was, that was powerful. Uh, when, okay, when, but when, I, I, if, if, <laughs> if he's talking to a church, yes, that he has to stand at the door and knock, right? And accept him, <laughs> right? Then are they? Have they actually received the him? Or is this still talking about the seed of Abraham nope. or or such like? Nope. These people who do not accept nope. Jesus they Christ as their Lord and Savior. No, they so didn't. how can you be? They received him before. They did receive him. They received him before. They say he said that you locked me out. Cause, you know, I like a hey, bishop. This is a good one. The, the first church here, uh, I think it's the no, the second okay, church, but... verse eight. Look at verse eight for me. This is all. These are all about the churches. These are all about the church. Read this one for me. Eight through eleven. Okay. It's important. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, right? These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. Uh -huh. And know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulations 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second death. Yeah, and you know, it's funny, it's funny about that. It's, like I said, all this is about the church. But I, Bishop, I think the first one I did like, and I missed it, and I don't know which one it was, where it said they forgot their first love. You, you remember that one, Bishop? Uh, which one of those churches forgot their first love? Is it, is it the first one or the second one? I thought it was the second one. What am I, this, Al, you may not want to say you forget. Here it is right here. Verse four, look at that verse four. Uh, Brother Hassan, what that one say? Unless you want to read the whole thing. I was just trying to get to that verse four. I thought was, verse four. 